Helps if I hit the right button first. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a combination, a little 99 cent store, a little Sam's Club. We had to nip out today to pick up another uh, humane cage to get part of our uh, feline colony fixed tomorrow. We needed one more. Harbor Freight is where we picked it up, and it happens to be right in the same little plaza as the 99 cents only store, so I nipped down there. And uh, as you can see, I picked up a nice, I mean, there's your context, a nice big head of cauliflower for 99 cents, a big head of cabbage for 99 cents, and they finally had some good looking brain green onions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And I grabbed a few more cans of cat food. In fact, there was three more, but because I have two of these guys in here getting fixed tomorrow, I have to stop feeding them now. Oh, that's going to be fun later. So I actually opened up cans like earlier than I would normally. I wanted to get another... Yes, please be caught on that. Thank you. Another little scrubby brush. Um, this will be for my kitchen. I'll take the one in my kitchen outside. I use those to scrub out the big plastic bowls I use for water dishes in the backyard. Because those things sitting outside for a while begin to fall apart. Go figure. Uh, so while I was in there, I grabbed another uh, dish soap. This one's orange. I needed some new exfoliating gloves that actually felt like they were taking the skin off my body. Um, so apparently this is a thing. They're for men. And these ones are already in my bathroom. They're black. And they... Why would it be ideal for the gym? What are you doing at the gym with exfoliating gloves? Anyway, they feel good so far. So, um, two came in this for two bucks. And I'm all about that because I can get like one glove at the Dollar Tree. And they're not as... I guess abrasive is the word I'm looking for? Yeah. So, I may get some more of that. Um, and yeah, you know, because we all love that. Which is why my kitchen smells good right now. Um, yes. Now, Sam's Club. Okay, quick shuffle. Uh, not pictured here is like a 40 pound bag of kitten caboodle dry cat food and like a 40 count case of friskies pate cans that are out in the garage, because, you know, uh, he grabbed, we finally bit the bullet and bought the big pack of the Premier Protein after picking up the little ones at the dollar store, well, individuals, we determined that we did indeed like the product, so he chose the cookies and cream flavor, which is why when he sent me a picture of the receipt, it said cookies on it, and I couldn't figure out what the heck he had purchased, I'm looking for the, ah, there it is, noise, Info. So four grams. So minus one fiber if you're doing that. So that's three grams per protein shake. Not the worst thing in the world. Um, if you're hankering like a, a shake, we definitely have wedged these up with uh, crushed ice. Add a little PB powder if you so desire. Um, I've even done these and made them into ice cream, so to speak. Works quite well. So he got a case of that. Um, last time we bought the great big box of hot dogs. They didn't have any beef franks. They did this time. Because we love a beef hot dog. One carb per one. These are gigantic. In my fridge, I already put them in a package. But they're like foot long hot dogs. I see bacon wrapped hot dogs in my future. <laughs> I'm making a mess here. And what else is there? Oh, knocking things down. Uh, rotisserie chicken. Which I'll go back in the fridge till tomorrow. Uh, yeah. And then I had mentioned in my little drink review that he was going to hit up the Aldi. The, okay. The Aldi, which is about an hour away from us, not real big. Um, they don't always have the best selection. And it is California that it's in. So, prices are California prices for stuff. But, uh, so he didn't really find anything that said, I need now. He couldn't find any of the low carb bread. Which is sad, but we'll we'll survive, obviously. Um, but he did pick up as uh, a keto ginger, lovingly calls them fart bars. <laughs> um, I love these. They remind me of the mounds. Two net carbs per bar. When I'm wanting something naughty, better than the real thing. And he grabbed himself this one. Uh, he said these were about five bucks a box. They went up. 
people who shop at Aldi all the time, uh, I have noticed in videos y'all have been mentioning prices have been going up, so. It's still cheaper than the Atkins versions right now, because those prices went up too, here. So, just something to have in the fridge for better choices. And then he brought me home a sourdough, sourdough, try again, hi, sourdough jack patty melt from Jack in the Box that I took the bread off of, and just basically ate the hamburger, the cheese, and the onions, and it was divine, divine. Ah, so this will be getting stripped down today, and I'm going to start trying to save the carcasses, because I've been watching, if you don't watch Time to Shrink Erica, you should be, because she makes awesome meals, lots of good inspiration, she also has an e-cookbook and an e cocktail book, because, oh my god, Becky, I need that book, and, <laughs> um, her low-carb drinks, and, 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 oh, sorry, I got a little excited there, yeah, anyway, she keeps the carcasses from all her rotisserie chickens and makes bone broth, and I need to start doing that, we're getting into that time of year, I need to start getting back into things I know how to do, which is why, for some reason, I forgot to get almond flour at Sam's Club next time next time. Okay, that's it. So that was 99 cents store only. Sam's Club with a hint of Aldi. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, wish me luck. I'm taking two of my critters, two of my in-laws critters, and two of the neighbor's critters in in the morning for fixing. I always feel bad slash good. I feel bad because I hate putting them in cages. I hate putting them in cages, but I know it's for their benefit. It's for their benefit. Is for the benefit, and I'm so grateful for the program in my area. If you have this program in your area, give it your full support, because without stuff like that, there would be so many unwanted little kittens running around in the world. And I love our local vets, but sometimes when you got females that you need to get or spayed, it can be costly. So these kind of programs are literal lifesavers. Okay, I'm done. Huh? I feel like Bob Barker. Don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. <laughs> Stay safe. And, uh, what's going on here? What do I got around me? Oh! Kylo Chang! <laughs> Stay safe and blessed be, everybody. Can you see how that looks right now? The lights? Yeah, it, that was much redder earlier. Here's a good example of how that's refracting right there. Okay, we are over three hours from the closest wildfire. All night long it smelt like fields are burning. You don't realize, even when the wind seemingly isn't blowing from that direction, how much that smell affects your air quality. Scratchy throats all night long. And then realizing that it's not your eyes. There's crap in the air. and Look what it does to the lights. Be safe, everyone. Woohoo! Bonus Shrawn footage on the end of this haul video. Yeah, I'm lame. I'm trying to ignore all the cats that are informing me that they are currently starving to death. Meanwhile, they were fed a mere five hours ago. <clears throat> yeah. Because two of them have to go to the VET this morning, so nobody's eating anything else until they have vacated the premises this morning. So, I brought back my Schwann stuff from my in-laws, so I thought I would share with you what I got. Uh, as you can see from this, there are, uh, let's see, three steam and bag packages inside of there. Let me show you. Yeah, three little, I, in the freezer, I think I still have some cauliflower broccoli mix, and I definitely still have the green beans. Um, the quality of all of Schwann's frozen vegetables are Wonderful. You will not find woody, chunky pieces of broccoli in this. So, which is why I had grabbed this, and then there's three, and then I was looking at this, and I thought, you know, I'm not the hugest fan of cooked bell peppers, neither is my darling, so I'm like, I don't know, let's see. Now this says, yes, I know they're sweet starch. I know, don't come for me. Because that magic number... Is why I got it. See, yeah, I know, I know, I know. There's even dextrose in there, but 
Lazy Dirty Keto, getting back on bandwagon. So I'm thinking, that was incredibly loud, I apologize. I'm thinking, how many portions are in here? Oh, six. Huh, okay, anyway. So I'm thinking a little of this, a little of that, uh, maybe some of that cauliflower that I picked up at the 99, or some cabbage, or both. Kind of like a beef and broccoli stir-fry on some rice collie, or fake noodles using the uh, cabbage. I like both those ideas very much. In the same sense of the fake noodles with the cabbage, I got some meatballs. I know meatballs aren't hard to make. These ones are a little carby. Three carbs for six meatballs. Which, again, six meatballs is quite a bit. Figure a little bit of zoodles or even the, my brain will kick in in a second. Zoodles or the cabbage strips, you know, wilted down. A little this, a little marinara or a little uh, homemade. Um, I have a brain and it is in there. Alfredo. Alfredo is the word I'm looking for. Uh, would be a very good dirty lazy keto meal. Or even the green beans. I think I still have. Let me see if I can find you a bag of the green beans to show you. Look at the size. These are actually very good sized green beans. And I'm like, what is that noise outside? There's, I forget at night. It doesn't matter if it's day or night. When it's training, you can hear the airfield from here. Anyway. Pretty sure that's what I'm hearing. Oh. A car leaving my cul-de-sac. Okay. Anyway, these are very, very good. I've done them Asian style with garlic and a little sesame oil. Wonderful. There's the broccoli and cauliflower. And at first I thought, ooh, I need to get more. I only have one little bag of these left. And then I remembered, when I placed this order, I text my mother-in-law, this is the item that I want, because she has the account. She sets it up. It's literally a few houses down the road from us. When I had texted her about these two items the last time, I put in the exact description of what this was, which is three steaming bags. The, the description from the website is like three steaming bags in one. She read it as three bags. So down at her house, I'm pretty sure I still have three more bags of this. One more big bag. Because she doesn't really eat a whole lot of these kind of green beans, even though they are so good. So good. So... I think I've babbled on long enough. So you get two little extra bonus pieces in there. I don't know if you can hear the cat singing in the background. That would be Batty. Batty is who I should be taking to get the snip snip today. But the last time I tried, he about took off my hand. Um, he doesn't go outside. So I figure the next best thing is making sure none of the girls in my house can get knocked up. So that's what's going to happen today. Enough talking about feline genitalia. <laughs> And I'm going to put this video together and uh, put it up. So, I got some different meal ideas for coming week or two. I wish Schwann's had more legit keto items. They have gluten-free. They have Live Smart products, which, if you search, you can make it work like, oh, like if I'm feeling lazy and want chicken nuggets but don't want to spend the time cutting up some chicken, they literally have products like this. Zero carbs. You know, it's got some crap in there, but in a pinch, this will work. Also, it works to add in chicken into something, if I don't want to break it down myself. So they have items. They just really don't have anything straight-up keto. Like, gluten-free, sugar-free. Not starving! No! 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 Okay. Um, yeah, but still excellent products. If you're not keto and you have the option to look through Schwann's, check them out online. They have some really, really good stuff in general. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's we're single-handedly keeping Schwann's ice cream stocked in this area because that's what they're always getting. <laughs> Parker. Peanut gallery heard from. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's enough rambling for me. Oh, stay safe. 
and blessed be.